All right, hello everyone. This is Reverend Adam once more, and today I am showing you how to make your own Four Thieves vinegar. Today I'm showing you my version of Four Thieves vinegar. There are many different versions and variations of Four Thieves vinegar throughout the world. It varies from person to person, and whomever you're getting it from that makes it. Well, you will always find two common threads throughout all the Four Thieves vinegar recipes. Those two common threads are one, obviously your first base, which is vinegar. Your second, which is the garlic. Garlic and vinegar are the two main ingredients or two main bases of Four Thieves vinegar in any variation or recipe. And this is according to my research. I do always encourage that you do your own research. And at the end of this video, I will post a link to the history on Wikipedia of Four Thieves vinegar. As you can tell, I have my hot plate here with two burners. And it's not on right now. No, I'm not burning myself. And uh, what we do is for the purposes of keeping the color from going from a white to a dark green or a light green with the garlic is a lot of people will take the vinegar and the garlic and simmer them together after they have peeled the garlic cloves and have crushed them. Now, when you crush your garlic cloves, you don't want to tear them apart or uh, cut them. You just want to lightly crush them so they're still pretty whole with a lot of uh, cracks and crevices for the vinegar to penetrate. Um, and this is so we don't get green garlic cloves in our liquids. A lot of people would be uh, kind of disgusted by that when you go to use it as, let's say, the salad dressing that you can use it as, um, things like that. Um, if you're going to get or make a vinegar that you're going to use as a salad dressing, I strongly suggest you get the ones that are made by hand and with uh, completely just the herbs and the uh, vinegar or the spices. Um, that way you are having the edible version. There are versions that are sold out there that are manufactured with just simply fragrances and those are non-edible. Those are just for simply the protective purposes. Four Thieves Vinegar is used in two different ways. It is used in a magical protective way and it is also used as a um, immunity booster. And when it is being used as the immun immunity booster, we take it internally um, through teaspoons or through salad dressing and um, even we bathe with it sometimes to prevent ourselves from becoming sick. It was originally created during the times of plague by four thieves in order to keep them from obtaining the plague um, when they would go into the different houses to uh, steal items and, and to get whatever they needed or wanted. All right. Normally in Four Thieves Vinegar, you will have four different ingredients on top of your two main bases, which are the vinegar and the garlic. Your bases can consist of any edible um, ingredient type herbs that you would like or spices. Some use cayenne pepper and black pepper with sage and uh, basil or lavender and today my variation I'm using wormwood which we're not going to put a lot of wormwood because it is kind of toxic in a form. It's edible but it, it's a little uh, potent. I'm using St. John's wort and I'm using basil. Now I'm also going to add more than the four because I always think more is better. So I'm going to be using 
a combination also of mint and garden sage as well as cinnamon onion peels pepper black pepper and salt keep in mind that any ingredients that you're adding you want to have protective properties as well as uh, properties to heal and to promote better health well as an extra on this video I do want to share with you that you do not have to steep or boil um, your garlic in the vinegar if you choose not to um, you can just simply add all the ingredients together in the vial or in the jar and um, let it sit on the shelf from anywhere from one to four weeks undisturbed before you use it. So the vinegar has enough time to extract the properties out of all the different herbs and spices that you're using. When I make Fort Thieves vinegar, I like to have my working candle on and going. I also always like to save a little bit of the old vinegar that I had um, when I need to make more so that way I can add the old to the new and in my opinion it adds more potency. I also sell my version of Four Thieves Vinegar online at my website known as HowPsychic.com. I will also post a link to that website on the bottom of this video at the end. Now a lot of people like to use apple cider vinegar or a red vinegar because red vinegars are more common and they do have more healing properties. Also, so does the apple. I like to use right now my white uh, distilled vinegar because I do not have access to a apple cider vinegar at this time. I normally use apple cider vinegar myself as it is the most common and most well known to be uh, more effective but when I'm just simply making a brew that I will use for the magical properties as well as on occasion the edible properties for healing um, I'll just go ahead and use my white distilled vinegar now I'm using two bottles of white distilled vinegar today because I use this for myself and my clients. But um, if you'd like, you can just make one bottle and that will pretty much last you for a good one to two years, depending on how often you use it. Hope you've enjoyed the video and please uh, post your comments at the bottom.